What's going on you guys? First of all, I wanna start off with a little update. And the first thing with that is going to be just stay safe with the coronavirus and everything like that. You know, don't touch your face, try to wash your hands. Just overall, general hygiene. I just wanna get that out there because my mom's in the medical field. She's a respiratory therapist. So she's dealing with this stuff right away because it affects your respiratory system. So she's like directly involved in this. Obviously I'm not like a professional, I'm not a disease specialist or anything, but at least my mom's out there and she's just kind of relaying some information. So wash your hands, general hygiene. And of course, don't go out in public with large groups of people because we're trying to flatten that curve. So that's something I know everyone's saying it's overreaction, underreaction. I just think right now, if we do that, we'll be good to go for uh, the future. Now car related, we have the Mustang here and it has everything prepped for the drag pack. You guys probably saw that in the last video where Oscar and I, well, Oscar came over here and we just cut off that lower control arm, which now we have the sway bar relocation bracket. The bracket was really cheap. It was honestly really easy to do, but something I didn't check because it was so late and I was tired of it is I didn't go under whenever it was under load, like how it sits right now and see if it's cleared um, with that sway bar because it was rubbing up against it when it was up in the air. But I'm wondering if it was under low, does it clear it? I'm editing that clip right now and I realized I did not ever go the frick under the car. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's still hitting. So that didn't clear. Let's go check the other side. I'm editing up that clip and I was like, dude, I didn't even freaking get under the car. I guess because I was just trying to go get groceries. Also, I'm a total noob for leaving this. I need to get it off. Keep forgetting about it because it's on the opposite side of me. Oh, it's right there too. I'm trying to be like, oh, I went to the drag strip, but I'm not really like a drag racer. So up under there, it's still touching as well on the passenger side. So basically um, it's not cleared. It still hits on it. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Uh, so far with the driving, it doesn't feel any different. It doesn't make any noises, no metal on metal. So. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it and I'll keep you guys posted throughout the other videos. Another update about those wheels because you guys saw I got freaking scammed on those and all of you guys had comments on that, like DMing me, messaging me, even messaging me on Facebook. You guys sometimes found me on Facebook, which is kind of funny, but I mean, my name is my name, so you can find me on Facebook pretty easily. You guys messaged me that I should have checked the bolt pattern, I should have measured, all these things. Well, of course, hindsight is 2020. It's a learning experience. I paid full tax. Whenever I got the wheels, there was nothing on there that says 5x114. Trust me, I would have known, I would have looked for it, and there was nothing on there. So not only did it not have anything about the bolt pattern, there wasn't even like a model number that I could have Googled on site stamped on the back of the lip. So really, I mean, there was nothing to go off of unless I just test fit, which obviously I couldn't. I couldn't have test fitted them. I didn't have the relocation bracket done. So they wouldn't have fit regardless. They wouldn't have cleared. But I guess you guys are right. If I would have test fit, I would have at least seen the lugs not fit, even though they wouldn't be pushed back all the way in. It would have hit that lower control arm mount. At least the lug nuts, I would have known because it just would not work. When I described the way they did not fit, it's the lug nuts were like scraping along the threads on the inner part of every single hole, which tells me that the, the actual studs were just not far enough apart. It was gonna rub against it no matter what. And you guys also mentioned I didn't have the right uh, wheel adapter or the lug nuts with washers or whatever. It really would not have worked. I'm telling you guys, this is like verified because the guy that bought them, so spoiler alert, I sold them literally the same day. I put them up on Facebook and like hours later, the guy came and picked him up. It was insane. Like this guy really wanted him for his Camaro. And uh, he came in his G37, which I was like, oh uh, crap, dude, do you know that these, it says like on my post, I say, I'm pretty sure this is GM Fitment. And uh, I made sure, I was like, look dude, like, you know these aren't for 5x114 because a G37 shares the same bolt pattern as a Mustang. And he's like, oh yeah, no, dude, it's fine. It's for my Camaro. So I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, I'm not trying to be the next guy to screw someone over. I wanted to make sure he knew. So at least those are now gone. We can be on the hunt for a drag pack. However, at the same time, a buddy who's also a bag Mustang here locally sent me a link to some parts that I may try to pick up. The guy really isn't responding right now, like the seller. My messages aren't delivering. So I don't know if he has signal or if his phone went out or what. So it's on, uh, I don't want to tell you guys, but it's, it's a good part that I've been looking for and uh, it's gonna be really good for the channel to showcase it. But right now I'm just waiting for a response. And another update is my buddy Sabir, who we were talking about with buying a C6Z06. He got his C6Z06. I actually already rode in it. I saw it yesterday, but it's been raining here. This is actually one of our first sunny days here in a while, like probably four days or so. 
So whenever it's a little bit better weather and we're both free, maybe tomorrow or the next day, we're actually gonna go on a little cruise, I'm sure, and uh, showcase that car because it's very well maintained. I'm telling you guys, it was definitely, well, 100% was older man owned throughout all of its life, basically. This thing is absolutely cherry. I think he got a really, really good platform. So he's gonna start on that stuff. He's already got it lowered on the lowering bolts because it's on a leaf spring. And then he also did an exhaust mod already. So he's already getting into it, but we're gonna have to see that car. And I'll tell you guys right now, the C6Z06 is no joke. This thing is a beast. But we were also working on a project for his C6, which, oh my gosh, these things are heavy. But uh, yeah, we built these ramps. So these are like little drive up ramps to mimic race ramps. So I could do oil changes a lot easier. We had a buy, we basically built mine as a test. And then his are a lot longer because the Corvette is so low. Apparently you can't lift and jack up a Corvette on one side and then get to the other. You have to lift it at the same time. So he needs race ramps to do his oil change. So we built those. Mine were the test dummies. They're not even gonna work on my car. Well, they'll work on my other cars, but they won't work on this car. So we're just gonna have to, I, I took the blame. I took that one down. That one's gonna be mine. And then we're gonna build his uh, that are gonna be longer and it'll work for his car. I know it's been lots of talking, but uh, we're gonna get some live action for you guys. Speaking of coronavirus, uh, I have to actually go get just some snacks because I don't buy food for four weeks out. I usually buy foods for a couple of days out. So I'm kind of dealing with that right now because I'm about to be fighting, not really fighting everyone, but I just need to go get some snacks. I'm not trying to buy like three months worth of stuff. Also, as I was just pulling this out, a guy in the neighborhood was riding his bikes with the kids and uh, yeah, he just stopped up and asked if I was a YouTuber and he was like, well, I heard the car one day and then uh, he asked if you were if I was a YouTuber because I was just talking to myself in the garage as he rode by. I usually get kind of weird about that. Like I don't want to be that weird guy to my neighbors that talks to himself on camera. But he's like, "Are you a YouTuber?" And I was like, "Yeah, I guess uh, I kind of consider myself a YouTuber." So if you're here watching and you're the guy from the neighborhood, then welcome, neighbor. Uh, congratulations, you found me because I kind of said my name really fast and I should have like hindsight. I was like, "Man, I should have spelled it or like showed him on my phone or something," but. I don't know, I was kind of caught off guard, but thank you for the support, dude, I appreciate it, because you didn't make it all weird, um, making it like weird that I talked to myself on a camera. I'm gonna take a little bit of the long route to the grocery store, just so that way I can stretch the Mustang's legs. It's been a couple of days, like I said, it's been raining, so I didn't want to pull it out, but, man, that should heal up anybody with coronavirus, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, gotta shift.
to the grocery store and uh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was still bad. There was no meat, like no milk or eggs or anything. And I just wanted eggs for breakfast, really. But uh, those are gone. Luckily, I have like half a dozen left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use those, but dang it. Really hard to do one-handed. So I know today was kind of a short drive, but we just had to get some groceries and stuff. And I figured I need to get some content out to you guys because I mean, you guys are just sitting at home probably, not really going out and doing anything. It's St. Patrick's Day today, but I figured make some content for you guys, kind of give you guys an update, because there's been some things happening in the behind the scenes. I just, we had some bad weather, so I really couldn't make some content for you. There will be more videos throughout the week, probably some driving videos. I might honestly just go for a drive. That's a quarantine in itself, because you're just you and your car. So if I get uh, some days off here, I might go make some content for you guys and go find some cool back roads to drive. Downship? Yeah. Whoa. Don't want that rolling out. All right. Roll through. And I just dropped everything again. Dang, man. The brakes are just crazy on these Brimbos. I'm about to pull right in and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I know this is kind of a weird vlog, giving you guys lots of updates, not too much driving, but again, like I said, more vlogs throughout the week. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please comment, like, subscribe. Let me make this turn. Avoid the crap in the road. And I'll see you guys next time.